but uh, I am now sitting near the organizer of the market. The market may be closed, but you are not closed. I am with you. And I have found, I am happy now, what I did need, I have found. Then the king embraced him very dearly that I wanted to know if anybody is there who loves me in the kingdom. Everybody loved my things. Everybody loved the things which were presented by me for them. And they took away and they were very happy with those things. But nobody did think of me that there is king also and there is organizer also. And that just before touching anything in the market, they should have thanked, they should have gone to the king and thanked him that you have arranged such loving gifts for us, we thank you. Even the people did not <laughs> had uh, an idea of even thanking me. They just loved the things and then they went away happily. But now I am yours and all the kingdom is also yours and all this market is also yours. I am also yours. You have won me. So this is uh, uh, the difference between the way of working of the people of this world and the people of right understanding, basic understanding. That uh, instead of loving and, and having attachment to worldly, very low, very disturbing and negative things which are of no use, let it be use even, but these are still so low that if we can come in contact with God, we can find Him, then we will be blessed with everything. Love and all things shall be added unto you. To whom love? To love Him, to love God. Because love can be loved only coolness of, of water can be enjoyed through water. So if we are to love, we cannot love hatred. Hatred cannot be loved. Is there any love anywhere except God? Never and at no place we can find love except the source of love who can love us and who can be loved. So it is only God who is source of love and who will reflect love, His love to us and then we will be able to love Him. I think you might be knowing the words of my Master that when Master initiates a soul he is full of love and when he connects the initiate with himself, then the initiate also begins to reflect the love of the master and then he begins to love the master. Only with the reflection of the master which he gets from the master, the initiate has no love for himself, in himself for the master. Only the master is the source of love. And when he comes in contact, the reflection of love which is received from the Master, with that reflection, he begins to love the Master. I think you understand this phenomena. Similarly, the, the case that uh, if we love God, if we love Master, it is the same thing. So we cannot love and we do not know love. And to whom we love? We do not know any source of love and therefore we are not loved and we cannot love. Only there is word love just to be abused.
in this world. But uh, actually we find not the same. The same can only be found and enjoyed from its source and that is God and that is in the personified God, Master, where from we learn how to love, He teaches the love and He then accepts also our love. Love with love. And then our love goes on increasing, developing uh, and then we go on flourishing more and more and then we join Him. So much so that we do not feel any difference from Him. We are so much one with Him, all in love. So this love is created in us. In Adi Granth it is explained, not now, that those hymns were written 400 years back and the Masters had been giving the same from ages and ages. But uh, generally we read or we hear but overlook, <coughs> do not uh, uh, fix our uh, vision at some point, we just go on overlooking, overlooking, do not pay attention, our attention does not stay at some point where we may just find some attraction and find something. So there is written that the sound current, that I have been connected with the sound current, with the grace of Master. And when I attended and concentrated myself on the sound current, it attracted me so sweetly and my mind was satisfied. Uh, all his disturbances were settled down and it found peace and satisfaction and it, it did not bother, it did not get disturbed. Then as I went on listening to it, some volcano of love just sprang out in my uh, mind and uh, all that hatred which was deposited in on it, that was all filled up. It was buried, all that hatred was buried down and a big mountain of love that was all available and all surrounding and all predominating, dominating in it. And I found my mind all filled with love and love for God that even the separation of a twinkling of an eye was not bearable for me. That is such a yearning and such a strong tie of love was created in me that any twinkling of an eye time of separation was unbearable for me. And when this is the yearning, then we find it. When something is, uh, some ambition is burning at the top of, uh, in, uh, in our mind, then that uh, becomes the source of fulfillment. The same desire is fulfilled. So what is the means of finding God? It is only through God and in God. It starts from God and it ends in God and it goes in God. So Master comes in man body and he injects love. So our game starts with love and love is God and God is love. So we begin to travel in love and we go more and more deeper and deeper into love and then we are lost in love. So this is the way of uh, uh, liquid, liquid way of finding God, not dry. My master used to say that if you are to travel 
it is easier to travel through sea, through water, but don't go through deserts. Don't try to find a dry path. Try to find a liquid path. And this liquid path is the way of love. Other austerities, other disciplines, so many yoga systems, so many other disciplines, these are dry. These are deserts. And these cannot take us to the source of love, which is so sweet, which is so cool, and in itself, it is uh, uh, all wetness. So from the very start, we are connected with the same thing which we are to find, so that we travel in the same thing and we reach the same thing. So this is uh, the most satisfactory, most easy uh, and sure, and we enjoy it. And this is natural, that the thing uh, comes and it takes us, and we are worryless, as is the Indian system of marriage, may it be likewise over here also, that uh, the girl, uh, when it is to be married with uh, her bridegroom, he comes in the house of uh, the girl. He marries girl and takes uh, him with him and then um, reaches his house and then places in his house where he lives also. This is also the same case with God or with God-man, that he comes and he accepts us directly. He comes in our house, here in this world, in this man-body. He directly takes us and travels with us to his home, that he is our companion to start with, and along the way he is also our companion, and in his home also he is companion. So we start with the direct connection with God, and because this is not the world, this is not the place uh, where he can and we can also make merry. We can be happy. If there is a king, he is a very great king, may it be. let it be an example, and he selects by mercy or by just anything that a girl of a very poor family very wretched family, she is living in, only in some hut, very wretched, made of grass, and no facility over there. Now the king comes over there in her house, and he accepts her, marries her. Now the girl will also like to leave that house, and the king will also like to leave that house because none of those will be able to enjoy. It will be better for both of them, of them that they should go to the kingdom of the king and there they will be able to enjoy the life. The king will enjoy his own life, which he already had been enjoying. And the girl will also be very happy very much pleased and feel privileged to be out of a very wretched life and wretched hut and then to go and enjoy in the palaces and all those facilities which are of the palace. Then whenever she is asked that she may go to see his parents, she will not like, she will ask that parents may come to me over here. <laughs> I will be happy just to see them over here only, <laughs> but I cannot go back. <laughs> So, it is good, father likes that where, uh, uh, our uh, God also likes that where we are, he can also remain here, 
but it is not uh, uh, feasible for him nor good for us. It is useful for us even and also easy for God that we may go to his place and there we may enjoy over there. Otherwise the connection is firm. The marriage is uh, done and there is a regular relationship that cannot be lost. As Master has been saying that uh, once a soul is, uh, is accepted, it is accepted for all, forever. And in Bible, Saint Christ, um, uh, Lord Christ has also emphasized that uh, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee till the end of the world. So this connection once for all is there. But now uh, the, remains the question of transmigration, that the migration is to be done. So if the soul feels very much difficulty in migration and rejects to go with the, the Lord, the Lord is still there. The Lord doesn't uh, discards or rejects this soul. He remains over here, but the soul will not be able to enjoy. As long as she is loving her small self, small self, that wretched hut and rubbish and dirt of that house, and she cannot detach itself from that wretchedness and doesn't like to live the life of palace, then she is in a help, hopeless condition, in wretched condition, and she will not be able to enjoy really the enjoyment which is awaiting her, which is all ready for her. So this is her own uh, bad luck that she could not uh, enjoy readily. So this is required that now we should detach ourselves from this small our being, this small being or connections which are there of this small being in this, in this world. But we should begin to love our bigger, our great being. That great being is our God of which we are part. So the part should not love the part but it, it should be love the whole so that it may become whole and it may enjoy as whole. It is always useful and it is never advisable, advisable that we may love only our part, only our littleness because littleness will always remain littleness. It cannot be bigger than that. Only the bigger one will remain bigger and he will not be small. He cannot be decreased. He will remain the same as he is. So why should not we enjoy him? So if there is a brick and it can be adjusted into a palace, then it is good. A brick will only be just lying somewhere of no value. But if it is adjusted in a palace, then it will become palace, part of palace and then it will become palace. So if we are adjusted in the kingdom of God and in the setup of God, we will also be this conscious co-worker to the divine plan as Master used to say. <clears throat> in the aeroplane, if there is a small screw and that is fitted <coughs> In the aeroplane, that will also become an aeroplane. <coughs> that screw will also say that I am aeroplane. <laughs> because it will fly with the aeroplane. Where the aeroplane will go, it will also go. Because it is part of aeroplane. It is not now screw. <laughs> but because it is fitted in the aeroplane, it becomes aeroplane. <coughs> Otherwise, if it is detached from the aeroplane, then it is lying in the dust, dust on the ground. 
not even the screw, nobody will say it even a screw because it will be lost in the dust and dirt. So this is the miserable fate of us that we are no doubt souls, but nobody says us souls even. And even we do not say soul. If I ask somebody, who are you? Then she will tell that so her name what, or something else or something else. But she will not say that I am soul. Ask from anybody that who are you? They will tell so many worldly details, but they will not say that. Nobody will say that I am soul. So we have lost even uh, ourselves, our own existence, which is there even. That has also been lost, basically. This is a great misery. But if we realize ourselves in God, in Him, then it is there that we will realize ourselves, but also we will realize our Father God, and then joining with Him, we may lose ourselves as soul, but we will realize ourselves as God. And that's a good thing, losing small thing and becoming greater thing, losing oneself to be a sakru and to realize and become as aeroplane, that is a, the better situation, that is most useful and accept, um, acceptable situation. So these are the teachings of the masters, so high, so nice, so great and so useful, but uh, we are still lazy, but still there is time. We have some uh, moments with us, at least some moments, if not minutes, if not hours, if not months or years, at least uh, we have some moments. And if a moment is spent, moment by moment is uh, spent in the memory of God, that will do all. The lost, let it be lost. Let it be buried dead. Don't waste time in thinking of it even. That will also be a wastage of time if we repent upon it. We have no spare time even to repent upon it even. Now each moment which we have got in the future life, that is to be tackled just in a positive way. We cannot depend even upon the future, because future is always uncertain. It is only the present, the moment in which we are living, that we are living, and that is there. And we are concerned directly with that, nor with the past, nor with the future. And each moment, if we go on tackling properly, then there is all hope. And Saint Kabir has told that if we use each one moment even in proper way, we can earn the wealth of three words each moment, even more than that. Uh, uh, the work which is uh, being done in this way under the instructions of the master and in godly ways is most uh, profitable job, most paying job. In worldly ways we also find sometimes that there are people who are unskilled and they have no capabilities in them and when they work in the world, they may be working as laborers or some lower jobs where they are paid very little and they can only just make both ends meet. Barely they can uh, go on with their life very hardly. Uh, with all the labor 
hard labor for whole of the day. But there are people who had very much, who are very much qualified, very much skilled and very intelligent. And uh, when they are working for one hour or two hours, they earn so much, so much that the other person who was unskilled would not have earned even in a month what other can earn in an hour even. So there is a great difference between the earnings in worldly ways also. If one is skilled, if one is unskilled, if one is very much uh, having capabilities, other is not capable, the same things uh, have their effect. There is difference between the way of workings. So if there is, is there is anything which is uh, even much more paying, that is also there. And that is uh, the job which masters uh, uh, teaches us. That uh, this is the most profitable.